everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a video on the Karl Lagerfeld fragrances. I have one, two, three, four, five different versions to take you through in this video. So I'm gonna be giving you my impressions and the lowdown on the current range. If you're new here, then hello, welcome. We're all about perfumes. I have hundreds of videos just like this going through whole ranges, new releases, fragrance families. Do check out my other content. And of course I have my website, my blog, where I have a detailed article on all the Karl Lagerfeld fragrances as well as hundreds of others. And if you're a regular, then welcome back. Do make sure you're subscribed and give the video a thumbs up. That really helps me. And as always down below in the description box, there'll be links to where you can get these perfumes all around the world. And they are available at Look Fantastic. And um, I have my Look Fantastic discount code for you guys. LFTF so key gives you 21% off all of these and anything else on look fantastic. Cool, so Karl Lagerfeld is of course the creative director, designer behind the Chanel um, brand, couture, fashion. He took over in the 80s and has been ever since, so probably one of the longest like lead designers for a big brand. And before that he worked for like Fendi, Chloe, and I believe he was an apprentice to Pierre Balmain. He's one of these people that just seems to never age. I don't know how old he is but he's definitely quite old now and he has had a lot of fragrances over the years I think he was releasing perfumes in the 80s at least um, so he's had loads for men for women and then at the moment we have this range and they all come in these cylindrical bottle with these thick lids you've got 100 mil 50 mil and they're very very affordable so the 100 mils retail in around 30 something pounds 34 but you can get them at like 25 and then you have my 20% discount and look fantastic so they're very affordable fragrances and they have men's and women's ones which I was surprised about I would have thought They'd just be gender neutral, but there you go. So I have all the women's and I have one of the men's. So I think I'm gonna start off with one of the newer ones. So this collection is called Le Parfum Matière, which means the perfume materials. And this one is Fleur de Mouillet, which means mulberry. Now I've definitely not come across many mulberry perfumes. I can't even think of any others. So curious to try this. Okay. Hmm fresh everyday fruity floral okay so it's got a red currant top note which is what is in kate spade cherise so that's probably why and then i'm getting a slightly musky floral heart it has lily of the valley orange blossom and blackberry blossom so i actually just googled mulberry because i was getting confused that maybe mulberry and blackberry were the same thing it says their fruits are similar to blackberries but it's a different species to blackberry and mulberries grow on trees, not bushes. Okay, so it actually doesn't appear to have any mulberry scent in here. I don't really get blackberry anyway. Mm, uh, maybe now it's settling. At first I really got the red currant, that sort of tart, sharp fruit. Since it has an orange top note, I just was getting red currant. Now I'm getting an actual hint of violet along with the delicate florals. So it feels very feminine for sure. Fresh fruity floral fading into a more romantic floral bouquet. It's not particularly heavy. It is an eau de parfum, but it's not a heavy perfume, definitely not. I think it's just pretty, nice, everyday. For 20 something pounds for 100 ml, you can't really go wrong. And so I think that these perfumes, I mean, I haven't tried them all yet, but I get the feeling they're just like an inexpensive, easygoing, everyday scent. Okay, so that's the red one, Fleur de Mouillet. Okay, next I've got Fleur de Orchid. I was intrigued to try this. Not many perfumes that are all about orchid. Now that really does smell like orchids. I am trying to grow my orchid. Thank you for everyone that commented on my video the other week about my orchid. I have replanted it. That really does smell like walking into a greenhouse that has loads of orchids in, you know, like botanical garden. I really get the green. It does, to me, that does smell like orchids. It's got neroli in here and I think that's really helping because it's fresh green. I think it's definitely got a really pretty green element to it. I really like this. Neroli, a hint of grapefruit, and then that orchid. Mm, really pretty. I think if you like those sort of garden smells, like green florals, you know, it's not powdery, it's not musky, it's very much green, like an Izzy Miyake dropped to Izzy type floral. That's really pretty. It's again, it's pretty light, it says it's eau de parfum but it's definitely delicate. For me, this is definitely daytime, spring, summer. Yeah, if you like your Neurolis, 
green florals that's really nice I like this I definitely think that's more unusual and different and interesting than the first one so next we have I assume this is fleur de peach so I know you guys hate my French pronunciation so I just checked on Google Translate fleur de peche and when I put in peche like this it says the translation is to fish but I don't think this is fleur de fish. It looks like it also means peach. So this is peach blossom. Let's see. Hmm, again, very delicate, pretty. So this one is peach blossom and jasmine tea. It definitely has a calming, relaxing feeling to it. And it does have some greener undertones reminding me of the orchid one. It doesn't have that new rolly in, instead it's going straight into this blossom, but very delicate, pretty, innocent. It's not at all fruity, because you see the peach, or the fish, and you think, oh, it's gonna be a fruity peach. It's definitely is fleur, the blossom of the peach. Very feminine, very pretty. I really do like these two. If you're, they're kind of giving me like Jo Malone type vibes, like sort of like a fresh, cologne for in the springtime, daytime vibes. So next we have a green one fleur de thé, which means tea. Hmm. So this is quite citrusy. I'd say this is like a bergamot tea, um, Earl Grey tea. It's not like an English breakfast Yorkshire tea. Yeah, I'd say that this is basically like a citrus perfume, slightly aromatic citrus perfume. I don't get any milkiness and the tea is not yeah, the English tea that I drink is very much Earl Grey tea. Mm, very, very light. Again, it's the kind of thing you'd wear on a hot summer's day. Okay, and then next I have Bois de Amber. So this is Amber Wood, and this is part of the male range. And the male ones have these darker packaging, whereas the women's is lighter. So let's smell this. Instantly, definitely masculine. Feels a bit leathery. Yeah, I'd say that's a leathery amber, a woody amber. It says it has a sage in there. Mm. It doesn't feel too aromatic, it's a bit aromatic. But for me, that's like a classic men's sauvage everyday scent. Can't really go wrong with it, again, for the price. Definitely something I've smelled a lot before, like nothing unusual, but every day. Usually ambers are a bit heavier than that. I feel like that. This is very much more the bois, the wood, than the amber. Now the other ones I don't have for the men's, there's a cedar one, which looks like it's an oceanic fresh cedar, and a cypress wood one, which will be quite aromatic, a vetiver one, which will be green and fresh, and then there's a yuzu one. Yuzu is like um, a citrus fruit, and that one looks like it's a spicy citrus. Now I believe there is a new female one coming out, which looks like it's a peony, but it's not available yet, so I couldn't get it for this video. But I imagine it will be another pretty light floral. I think for me, you know, the women's ones, particularly, definitely my favourites are the peach and the flutter orchid, because they're less common sense. I feel like this Fleur de Mourier is nice, like fresh fruity, fruity floral, but I've smelt that before. These ones definitely feel like a little bit more high-end smell and you know, you could easily put that liquid in a hundred pound Jo Malone bottle and people would buy it. I'd love to see these in candles and like home fragrance. I think that'd be really pretty. They smell classy and expensive. And I think if you like your green florals, these are definitely safe blind buys. I'm finding the lasting power, the silage is not heavy. It's definitely light daytime perfumes, um, but I guess that's why they're so affordable. I know a lot of YouTubers, like perfume YouTubers, spend a lot of time going on about 300 pound, 200 pound perfumes. For me, I just think the everyday person like is looking for value for money. And I think for value for money, these two in particular are very good. Yeah, I'm trying to think which one I prefer. I think it, probably the orchid one, because the moment I sprayed it, I was immediately taken to walking into the greenhouse that my mum used to have where she was growing all different things. It was that same green, warm, green smell. Um, so yeah, that was interesting. Guys, let me know, have you tried any of these? Which are your favourites? Or what's your favourite Karl Lagerfeld from over the years? I know there's been so many. But I will leave the links down below to where you can get these. And my Look Fantastic code for you guys as well. But yeah, let me know what you think. Um, interesting. And do let 
let me know if you do like my more like affordable perfume videos. For me, that's definitely what I want my channel to be about, like accessible, normal, everyday perfumes that like real people buy. So yeah, so let me know your thoughts in the comments. But that's it guys. So thanks so much for watching as always, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.